Hi, I'm Rob Brambilla, Director of Technology for Promax Systems. Welcome to the Promax Lab. Today we're going to be talking about the Compress HD card from Matrox and how we can utilize it to make our workflow more efficient while we deliver to web or Blu-ray. This is the Compress HD card from Matrox. This is the first card to utilize Matrox's Max technology. Max technology allows you to encode H.264 files faster than real time. The card works in Mac or PC and is a low profile one lane PCIe card. The card offers a dedicated processor to help with encoding faster than real time for H.264 for Blu-ray all the way down to an iPod. Why is it going to help you? Well, if you've ever sat and waited for an export so that you can put your video up on YouTube or the web or get it to Blu-ray, this is definitely something that you need to look into. The card offers a specialized dedicated hardware encoding processor which frees up your system resources for other tasks. It also offers direct integration with Final Cut Pro's compressor and Adobe's media encoder. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and install it Make sure your computer is off. Obviously, we've got ours off here. Uh, we've already removed the cover on the Mac Pro. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and take off the PCI slot retainer, which is this part here. And we're going to pop the card right in. I'm putting it in slot 3 as my slot 4 is already taken up with an eSATA card. Make sure the card is properly seated. And then we're going to go ahead and replace the retainer in the Mac Pro. It's a good idea to have a small screwdriver on hand to make sure that you can uh, screw these knurled thumb screws back on. And we're done. So now that our card's installed and our system's booted up, we're going to go ahead and install the software. We've already gone ahead and downloaded the most current version, which is Matrox Compress HD version 1.5. And we're just going to double click on that icon and go through the installer. The installer, obviously, you have to agree to the uh, license and install. We're going to type in our password. And once it finishes the installation, it should ask you to reboot. And that's what we'll do. Okay, now that the system's rebooted, we're going to go ahead and take a look in Compressor and make sure that it's already loaded the settings right in Compressor like it's supposed to. Now in Compressor, it should have added some specific preset settings for Matrox. And as you can see, right under Custom, you have the Matrox settings. Apple devices is obviously for iPods, Apple TV, and iPhones. Uh, you've got the Blu-ray settings to go directly to a uh, Blu-ray disc. You've got your flash settings uh, to prepare video directly for the web. And then you've got other workflows, which are direct encoding options for maybe archiving or delivering uh, HD material to match the resolution and frame rate with what you're uh, uh, dealing with. And then you've also got the YouTube settings for YouTube HD and YouTube HQ. All right. So now that we know our settings are in there, we know the card is installed properly and we can show you a little bit of that workflow. So now we're going to go ahead and show a Final Cut Pro workflow utilizing Compressor and the Matrox Compress HD card. As you see here, we've got some uh, HD footage. I believe it's uh, 720p in the timeline. And we've got about 24 seconds of it. And what we're going to go ahead and do now is I want to prepare this uh, for a Blu-ray. Um, and I also want to prepare it for the web. We're going to go to File, Export, using Compressor, like you would normally do if you do use Compressor in your workflow. 
then once we've got the uh, sequence that's uh, loaded into compressor there, we're going to go back into our custom groups that we had uh, verified that were there earlier and the matrox settings. So the first things we're going to do is I'm going to find a 720p setting, 5994 for Blu-ray. And then we're going to grab our audio settings, which is going to be Dolby Digital Professional. And we know we only have two channels of audio, so it's a 2.0. And we're going to set a destination other than the source, which is going to be my Promax storage. Now we're also going to find one more setting here, which is going to be Let's see, we'll use a YouTube setting. And we're going to deliver to YouTube as a 720p 2997, uh, which is what YouTube actually takes. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and drop that up here top as well. We're going to change our source to our Promax storage. And hit submit. We'll name it Sequence 1 HD. Go ahead. And now we're going to hit our batch monitor and be able to see exactly how fast it's going to compress this. Okay, so it's done encoding. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and take a look and see how long it took. Okay, as you can see there, the YouTube video took approximately 16 seconds to encode a 24 second uh, H.264 and the full 720p 5994 took about 35 seconds. So it wasn't necessarily faster than real time but it was much faster than if you were just using compressor by itself without the card. So next thing we want to do is we want to look at them side by side. So now we've got our exported YouTube video and something that we want to do is we want to take a look side by side. And one of the things we really want to kind of look at at first, as you can see, there's, there's a slight shift in color, um, you know, but uh, the detail is pretty much there, as you can see. And the biggest thing that we're going to talk about it, 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 as far as this goes is the fact that we just took a 171 megabyte movie and compressed it to 14.4 megabytes to go to YouTube. And as you can see, uh, it looks pretty darn good for a 14.4 highly compressed 720 image. Um, you know, I would say that it's, it's pretty darn good. So that's it. Thanks for watching our review of the Matrox Compress HD card. As always, if you have any further questions or need any more information, you can contact us at www.promax.com or 1-800-861-2700.